that I use at my old house um, to put new knobs on my doors and stuff. Um, but I already have where I want the hole marked out because I did this in my other cabinet. So the hole is already there. So I'm just gonna use this to my old faithful because this thing, um, yeah. Maybe I'm slow, I don't know, but that's just too much for me. So I'm just gonna use this Use my drill bit to make a hole and then screw this in to the cabinet door. This is the knob that I'm using. It's a pretty gold and I have a mirror to match. I actually have um, a shower pull, a hand towel pull, a toilet pull, well a toilet handle, sorry, a towel handle, um, a hand towel handle or rag. And I have a gold square mirror to match. Um, my light fixture just came in for this bathroom and I have a faucet in my Amazon cart. So the only thing I really have to order for this bathroom is the faucet, the racks for the hand towel, the towel, and the toilet handle. I possibly will switch out this handle if I can find it in gold. And it's brush gold, it's not like a gold brass. And then as far as a shower fixture, I plan on changing the shower um, head, the shower handle, the shower drainage thing on the floor. And um, later on, we're gonna have this door changed to frameless anyway. So the hinges are gonna be gold. If not, I'll have to airbrush them gold or spray, spray them like a brush gold. So this is not gonna be, this is not gonna stay black. So I'm gonna try to show y'all footage of me getting this knob on, these two knobs on. But I was so aggravated with this thing, like, and then it's like super like sharp. So like it'll scratch your cabinet if you're not careful. I think I scratched a little piece of my cabinet if y'all can see that. I probably can't, but right there, like, it scratched a little bit of my cabinet already. So, I'm not too happy about that, but let's go. around better not touch the down come a little bit closer yeah yeah come a little bit closer yeah so all my ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat them right put your finger right in his face and tell that man bye bye i'm too fly i'm too fly bye bye Selfish, you get mad every time you lose. You can't take me with you. I'm scared you're gonna blow your fuse. Come a little bit closer, yeah. I can really start over, yeah. In the back of my mind, there's someone waiting on me. You're just wasting my time because you're scared and. 
and only Finally got some closure Yeah, I can finally start over So there's the handle. I don't know, maybe I should have put it a little bit farther over, but it can easily be fixed. Uh, let's see. So that's where it would be. I think with the other one there, it's okay. I think that'll be fine. Um, I guess I wanted it more in the middle. But that's where my little jig put it at. So, you know. Actually, it's not where it put it at. <laughs> we'll try it again on the other side. Okay, y'all. So, I basically just had to find out how far the hole I put over here it matches to that. Because it was off. I, it must have slipped in my hand or something. But it's still a lot faster than the other keg jig thing I got. So I'm about to go ahead and screw this hole in. And it should be, it should be level with this one. So here we go. Just doing a dry fit run. Just to see. But that's just, maybe it's just my eyes. I don't know, child. It's gonna have to do today. <laughs> it's gonna have to do today. Okay, so we have it. That's it. All my ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat them right. Put your finger right in his face and tell that man bye bye. Now that the guest bathroom knobs are done, now I'm going to attempt to put my kitchen knobs on. This is probably going to be a course of a few days because I have very little time before I have to pick the kids up from school. Plus, the size that these knobs are, 
my little piece, wherever it went, does not, um, where'd it go? Oh, my little piece does not fit for this knob. So I, I can find the first knob, but then I actually have to use a tape measure to place the top hole. So unless I can figure out this keg jig thing, it's gonna take a little longer than I thought. But the upside is I get the knobs I want, I'm saving money doing it myself, and it's still gonna look good. If I make a mistake, only I will know because all I can do is get some wood filler and start over. So I'm just gonna do a run through of the first one and then I'll let y'all see the end result once all of them are put on there. So here we go. <laughs> extra but i know i'm the same yeah. love me in spite of my trauma give me what i need instead of the drama cause when it pop off it's like oh my all good all day but the night we be going so hard on the flip side so tell me we'll be on a day babe i could keep that same energy when you go low i go low too but you'd rather stay high i know can we stay happy? I'd rather be on that way. Tryna control our emotions. If we on a rise out of passion, we could share love in the ocean. But if you wanna go insane, the way, baby, we could go all night. We could do it all night. We could go all night. Calls go to voicemail I block you so I don't raise hell Should've talked through it in detail I separate ways ain't gon' end well No But when we get back it's like oh my All bad all day but the night I Get that good good till we act right So tell me where we on the day babe I could keep that same energy When you go low I go low too But you'd rather stay high I know can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that wave Tryna control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We could share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby We could go on We could do it all night We could go all night, all night. Do we heal, do we bleed? I'ma follow your lead We could go all night I've been calm, cool, collected, but you pushing on my nerves And I'm knowing your intention, I'm under pressure Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said Got acidic in the tone and the presence, I get careless Long as you know, I come with imperfections When you look at me, you see the soul through my flesh You something special Know you looking bomb, the way you dress it Gone, flex it, hold it still and let my mind digest You got the leverage, you got the upper handle on the situation You worthy of a million more of the storms that we weather We fight, retreat, and then fuck, but you trying to kill the cycle When nobody's stressing that body like me, I know the way you like it I treat you like a queen, run the castle, you a treasure Feel like you setting fire to my desire for the pleasure You a gem, got me blim, let's make amends Know you can't, I'm out here Trying to control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We can share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby We could go on We could go on Okay y'all, so here are the handrails and I did a little knob on this one. Um, it's a little crooked. It's a little crooked, and I mean like by a couple of millimeters crooked. But we gonna figure out the rest of them. I'm about to do the other glass cabinet here and then those two. And then that's gonna be it for today because I'm tired y'all, I'm tired. But yeah, these are harder than I thought. Uh, Cause I don't, I don't have the right measurement for doing two holes. My little guide piece doesn't go up that high, so I literally had to like measure by hand, as you can see. 
I scraped myself and it burns. So, got all the rest of these to do. <laughs> we gonna get it done though, yeah, we gonna get it done. Okay y'all, so here they are. I'm gonna have to do some adjusting with the holes because even though I measured literally five times, this one is higher than this one by like, and you can't tell on here, but I can. And I don't know if it's because of the door um, hinge. I could adjust the door hinge or I could just bring this down like two milliliters. But the left side is higher. You can probably see it from far away. The left side is higher than the right. That's gonna bother me so much. And then on this one, the left and the right side are slanted. So they're closer here than they are here. So this is going that way and that's kind of going that way, like slanted. So. I'm gonna figure it out. Either I'm gonna adjust the bottom or I'm gonna adjust the top. It's probably easier to adjust the bottom. But this is what it looks like from far away. The decor over here isn't sand. I just put it there just cause. Um, but this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna put long ones up there too. So I have to go get the girls, take them to practice. So I will see y'all later. Okay y'all, so I got the handles on. <laughs> I... Yeah, only because I wanted different kind of handles that I not have the builder do this, but if you don't care about your handles, have the builder do it. I got a couple of scratches on the cabinet from the drill, so now I have to fill those in. I painted over it, but I got bright white paint and these cabinets are not bright white. But if you can see from the drill kicking back and sliding across the drawer, it kind of got a couple of nicks a couple of nicks in the drawer. So I have to get some like, some type of filler. I don't know if it's wood filler or just plaster filler, sand it. I kind of already sanded it and painted it, but I got the wrong paint. I got pure white. Pure white is the color of my walls, but clearly these cabinets are not pure white. So I have to do a color match, paint over those scrapes. We'll fill them in again, paint them. Uh, we'll fill them in, sand them, and then paint them. But this is the jig that I'm using for the cabinet this time because up there I didn't use the jig. I just kind of eyeballed it and some of them are crooked. I did fix them, but to avoid that, I just matched these two holes up. I matched these two holes up with the existing um, plugs up there. And then I kind of adjusted this to be the height that I wanted the holes to be. I did use my thingamajigger to find the first hole and then I use this jig to find the second hole since that little thing isn't long enough. I line the pencil mark up to this first hole and this piece up here allows it to sit on the cabinet and the second hole will be the bottom of the pool. So hopefully that will suffice and I can actually have holes that match. I did the jig with the cabinets and my holes ended up being too far apart by like two millimeters so I had to make the holes bigger and hence why I had the scratches. I pre-drilled all the holes and they ended up being a little too wide so I had to make one of the holes wider so that the screw could fit into the pool from the back of the drawer. These were super easy. I didn't have a problem with these. That's just one hole, one and done. So as you can see, my island pools are gold. My black pools are on the back wall cabinets and drawers. But the reason I did gold on here is because once I install um, the other cabinets to make the island bigger, all of these cabinets are gonna be painted black. So it's gonna be gold hardware against black cabinets.
feel you coming down too strong Cause I want ya, it is hard to resist cause I need ya And it's hard baby yeah cause I believe ya Call me tight, mm. holding on to me I'm gonna get to your clean and proper Yeah, I'm moving on a weekend lover You're gonna have me on your mind forever Ever, nice baby Turn it down like a sweet and ready Go slow, keep it nice and steady Know that you've been keeping patience Too bad I've been sticking out your mind I've wanted to throw you away ever since I met you. <laughs> That's a joke, right? What's a joke? Are you serious? Hello. Show me the car where you turn me on. Show me the car where you turn me on. Show me the car where you turn me on. labor of love this was intense i've put up knobs before but this was intense so here are the gold ones and here are the black ones and i've done all the bottom ones you can see here done all those done all of the drawers drawers are done as you can see like i said i did the long pull bar for these two the short one for these two, the seven inch ones for all the base cabinets, and this extremely long one, I did two seven inch ones and the seven inch. So what I have left is this one, which I'm going to put round ones up there because I really don't need handles, but I'm still debating if I'm gonna do all of the seven inch ones up top on this side but I'm definitely doing them right here because this cabinet's longer so I may still do the round ones here seven inch ones here still got those to go um, all these top cabinets are done except this one um, when I did these I didn't have my step stool so now that I have my step stool actually I'm taking that back to the apartment so I, I will have to bring that back but I'm going to do the seven inch ones here too just so they can add some more height above the microwave and that's it what do y'all kind of obviously what do y'all think y'all see what time it is it's 12 15 a.m not p.m a.m so we're about to head on out we gotta uh head to south carolina i have a funeral to go to and some sorority events but look this boy still look <laughs> messing with his sister I look hot miss sorry but um that's the end of my cabinet drawer pool DIY whatever you want to call it I'm beat I look beat my edges is popping up but it's okay anyway I'll talk to y'all later please make sure you like comment share this video subscribe to the channel we're on our way to a thousand subbies so thank you so much for joining in on my house to home series. This vlog is about the cabinet pool. Um, I forgot I still gotta do these and I still gotta do these. So to be continued, subscribe, bye.